Well, as mentioned, uh, despite that less than convincing win, Manchester United are actually the league's most informed team. Well, since the 7th of October, they've picked up 12 points from five games more than anyone else. Although in that period, both Manchester City and Brentford have played just four times. It's like a soap opera there. Every single week there's, a, there's an issue on the field, off the field. So, no, it, it, it doesn't feel like that. And obviously with the Champions League result wasn't a very good one for a midweek. But... You know, you, you take, you've got to build back slowly. You know, he's been under a tremendous amount of pressure. They've not been playing well. Um, but I think that that just shows you, you know, sometimes, it, you know, that, that, that you look at how a manager's under pressure. Sometimes the results can, you know, it, it doesn't feel like that they've been, the performance haven't deserved that, if it, if it makes sense. So another one-goal victory for Manchester United. They've scored 13 in the league this season. 12 of those have come from non-forwards. Rasmus Hoyland hasn't hit the ground running in the Premier League, although has started well in the Champions League. Look what Haal has done, obviously, at Manchester City and strikers need to be feel for. But I, what I do see in Hoyland, I see a player. I see his, his movements are good. He was unlucky with one today. With Les and I were watching a game, he just tried, it came off his sort of knee hip and he tried to react and improvise and get it. It just hasn't happened for him. But I do think once he gets one, two, three, then it, it will start to come because he's got that little bit of pace. He doesn't look like he's phased by playing for Manchester United. He just needs that little bit of luck in the Premier League.